Well, I get the question every day in my practice as a family and divorce attorney. How much does a divorce cost? Well, the answer is at least half. At least half your stuff and at least half of the time that you currently spend with your children. If that cost is too high for you, here are 10 principles for avoiding divorce that I've learned from working with and observing literally hundreds of couples in crisis. Number one, happiness is not the most important thing. You know, everyone wants to be happy, but happiness, it, it comes and it goes. Successful couples have learned to intentionally do things that will bring happiness back when life pulls it away. Number two, couples discover the value in just showing up. When things get tough and couples don't know what to do, they need to just hang in there and be there for each other. Time itself has a way of helping couples work through things by providing opportunities to reduce stress and overcome challenges. Number three, if you do what you always do, you will get the same result. Wise couples have learned that you have to approach problems differently to get different results. Often minor changes in approach, attitude, and actions make the biggest differences in marriage. Number four, your attitude does matter. Changing behavior is important, but so is changing attitudes. Bad attitudes often drive bad feelings and actions. Number five, change your mind, change your marriage. How couples think and what they believe about their spouse affects how they perceive their other spouse. What they expect and how they treat their spouse matters greatly. Number six, the grass is greenest where you water it. Successful couples have learned to resist this whole grass is greener on the other side myth. You know, that someone else might make me happy. These successful couples have learned to put their energy into making themselves and their marriage better. Number seven, you can change your marriage by changing yourself. Veteran couples have learned that trying to change their spouse is like trying to push a rope, almost impossible. Often the only person you can change in your marriage is ourselves. Number eight, love is a verb, not a feeling. Everyday life wears away the whole feel-good side of marriage. Feelings, like happiness, will fluctuate, but real love is based on a couple's vows of commitment, for better or for worse, when it feels good and when it doesn't. Number nine, marriage is often about fighting the battle between our ears. Successful couples have learned to resist holding grudges, bringing up the past, and remembering that they married an imperfect person, and so did their spouse. Number 10, a crisis doesn't mean that the marriage is over. Crises are like storms. They're loud, they're scary, and they're dangerous. But to get through a storm, you just have to keep driving. A crisis can be a new beginning. It's out of pain that great people and great marriages are produced.